everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Civilization VI, continuing with our Mexico modded playthrough. And yeah, things are going well. So uh, before I get into this episode, I, I kind of want some suggestions for you guys. So uh, they started releasing some of the civilizations for the Rise and Fall expansions, and so I just kind of want to hear from you guys uh, what you want me to see and what you kind of want me to play as for our next series, or maybe our next next series i don't know if, if if this series ends before rise and fall comes out we may do something fun in between just you know until rise and fall comes out it, it wouldn't be something that would go in through rise and fall but anyways so they've uh how many civilizations have they announced so far so they've announced korea which i'm probably not going to play as i'll throw that out right away only because they're very science based and yeah we've kind of already just uh, played that to death here in this playthrough they've taught um they've released the netherlands which sounds really 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 interesting because the Netherlands can actually build on water they actually build a ground uh, like basically they would turn this uh, coast tile into ground and I forgot exactly what it's called I forgot what else they did but that was really freaking cool um, they also announced Mongolia who sounds really fun because anytime you kill an enemy horse unit uh, basically you can convert it to your side which is freaking cool they have another uh, leader for India who's a little more warlike which might be interesting although India was in the previous game so I don't know about that and then Cree, which is, I guess, up in Canada, um, Native Americans, which sound really freaking fun. Um, so I'm kind of right now, and I'm there. that's not all of them. They're announcing 10, and I think that's what, like, 5? Um, right now, I'm torn between Cree and Netherlands. Both of them sound really interesting. So um, anyways, where are we at? We are currently just kind of chilling. I had some comments that I should have taken over uh, as to whatever the city is which actually you know might not have been a terrible idea we would have gotten more science and we could have thrown up another campus and stuff like that however that would have given us a pretty nasty warmongering penalty i'm sure and i already have some people who hate me and i don't know i just i don't know i i'm not like i don't need the city um but i rather need the alliances and i need people to be happy with me so having a bunch of warmongering penalties would probably be not good for us oh i congo what do you want you want coal and open borders for and a bunch of crap for like no money sorry dude oh i'm not gonna let that happen i just woke up so i'm a little tired but yeah i need to keep drinking my coffee man uh hey you want research agreement satellites aren't i already researching green with satellites i don't think i am and i'm definitely not giving you drinking alone by moonlight man no that's not gonna happen I'm just gonna throw that out there right away it's not gonna happen you want one gold for 30 turns? Sure. I thought I was already research agreeing it. So if you research agree it twice, does that mean it just finishes? My thoughts are you probably can't do a research agreement on the same thing twice. So. How is... We would like to get the Great Zimbabwe up soon. So we need 32 turns before the commercial district finishes. Ugh. Okay. We need to speed up production here. Substantially. Do I need to just buy a... I could get a couple lumber mills going, which might help production a little bit. Ballistics. You want me to give you one of my pearls, and you'll pay me eight gold. I'm currently doing aluminum, so that's fine. Radio. I think that's okay. How can I get more production out of you? Yo, I can't. I can't manage my production. Dang it. Um... I don't really know how we're going to get more production out of here. Because there's not really much for us to grab production. Uh, there's a fish there, but the fish isn't going to give us production. Um, he kind of grabbed... Uh, I should have actually bought up and grabbed the lumber mills. Oh, he threw another town down right there? What the hell, dude? I should have grabbed that so I could at least have done lumber mills. I'm assuming you could do lumber mills in the tundra. I don't think there is any re restrictions on that. Are there? Lumber mill. Uh, placement woods. So as long as it's woods, you can place them. Come on. Over, over. Tell me what they're called. Uh, Tundra. Woods. So I should be able to place them, correct? Um, Haciendas don't give me more... They do give me more production for adjacent districts. Unfortunately, we don't have any adjacent districts. Also, how's the stone only giving me two production right now? I feel like that stone should be giving me more at this point in the game. I thought we had enough stuff up here that was giving me more. Hopefully, maybe we can find some aluminum, like, right here. That would be absolutely wonderful for us. So, 
They're still alive. I still got to keep skipping turns. But they should be dead pretty quickly here. So Leon needs more amenities. We need more amenities. We need more amenities. Okay, so here's the thing. How much money do we have? We have enough. Let's go ahead and just buy a builder here. And probably want to throw down a Hacienda because it does give us some crap. I'm assuming we can build a lumber mill. We should be able to build a lumber mill. So we're going to find that out really quickly whether or not we can build a lumber mill. How's our money? Our money is 400 gold. Doing pretty good on that. Radio is okay. Uh, it's one turn. And yeah, so we're basically just waiting. We still need two more trade routes. So one more trade route because we completed two trade routes. Either way, we still need another trader out. We have enough money, we could buy one in this next turn. Do we need more builders up in this area? Probably. You're producing a trader, so we may actually be okay on traders then at that point. Um, not really much we can do over here, though, still. Because it's mostly just jungle. And I mean, I could rip down the jungle, but I'm not really interested in ripping down the jungles. We could... Oh, that's not my city. <laughs> I was like, well, we could build here a little bit. Um, there's nothing here for us to build anymore. You are completely maxed out. How about San Luis? We put a mine there. We have a couple stray spots we could build something, but we actually do have a builder over here. He's going to build me a lumber mill. Then I could grab another lumber mill. And then a couple farms. Mm, one, two, three. I need someone to build a farm right here. Build farm farm, but that doesn't help me. Yeah, doesn't help me. Okay, um, where are we looking? Leon, let's go with the lighthouse. Let's, oh, yeah, why didn't I build that a while ago? That gives me more food. I should actually just buy that, but um, let's instead buy a trader. Speaking of which, can we build a trader? No, we can't build a trader. Hmm. So then let's actually grab the harbor here. And I actually want to come back here to Leon. And I'm actually going to buy lighthouse we should have bought that a while ago i guess i forgot that that gave you food um i do want to get up the seaport because it's going to give me more food so let's go ahead and grab the um uh the shipyard for now i can't afford it i don't have 247 we'll go ahead and we will build a lumber mill there then where else are we looking at we have one of our traders leon you know i may actually want to send an internal trader out once again, more food. Four production, one gold. Two gold, but two production. Two, four, one. Also, hold up. Hold up. I hadn't mentioned that Judaism was giving one of my cities really good money. Each campus provides plus one science, plus one gold. Huh. That's only one gold, though, actually. It's not giving me that much. Which city was it that was following Judaism? It wasn't Leon. I think it was one in the New World. You're not Judy. None of you are Judaism. You're Judaism. Veracruz. Okay, so apparently... Where is... Oh, we should be looking at the reports. So, Veracruz. Where are you at? Veracruz. So, we're making 55 gold from here. It doesn't say anything about the religion, which is why it's making me money. So let's hover over here. We're getting plus 25% from modifiers. But what would those modifiers be? It can't be Judaism. Laws construction chapels may purchase campus or theater squares. Each campus or commercial hub district provides plus one science or plus one gold. So I'm just making plus one gold off of it. So I don't understand why. Order expansion 50% higher. Yeah, so that wouldn't be the reason why. So I don't know what the modifiers are. Uh, okay, so completing a trade route, Veracruz. So anyways, I just wanted to see if it was worth it for us to actually send him um, to Veracruz to get Judaism. But I mean, that doesn't seem particularly necessary. So, instead, let's just go for Mexico City just to get the max amount of food and um, production. So, sure, begin the route. 
let's get Leon actually growing a little bit. It's kind of cool because like Leon was like so worthless for so long in the game and it's like, hey, we can actually grow you now and do stuff with you. So we have no um, text we can steal, but instead we were gonna go steal his 900 gold. So 74% chance of getting it, 21% chance of failure, 5% of being captured or killed. I think it's worth it, let's go. All right, they are almost dead now. So let's move up here. I could move onto that tile. Actually, he can't do anything to me. Because they just have two movement. And they can't cross the river. So let's just quick save just in case I'm an idiot. But I'm pretty sure we should be A-OK -okay here. So let's get up here. And then next turn we can actually colonize that. And we'll have our two sources of oil. So we can build whatever uh, is required. So, Feather Cruise. You're making a lot of money right now. Um... I am cool with sending you to make more money. St. Petersburg gives you plus six. Do we want to grow you? You're actually pretty grow. Like you're pretty um, large already. So maybe we want to send you to China just to get you more production. St. Petersburg was only one production, um, but six gold. So same gold, uh, but a little more production. St. Petersburg does not give me any science either. Um, we can send them over there to Rome, but that doesn't give me much of anything. Rio de Janeiro. Um, gives me a little more gold. I think we'll... Ooh. Could send him to Norway. It was actually Judy. Uh, Judas. Judas. Uh. Judy? Wait. What's the plural of Judaism? I mean, Judaism. But... How do you say that? Jewish. Gosh. Wow. My brain. Just complete fart there. Okay. Yeah, let's just go with China for now. I think that's fine. Uh. We need more housing. We need more housing. We need more housing. Uh, we need to do nothing with you, and we should get radio now this turn. Okay, need coffee. Oh, man. I don't know. I think part of it, I just not sleeping well recently, so my brain isn't working as well. Ugh, I don't know. It's like as you get older, it's just like, man, why is my brain not work? I hate it. I think part of it is like, it's not just getting older. I think... Like, as you get older, you tend to get more responsibilities, and then that kind of, like, fills your brain with other stuff. So, I don't know that so much your brain slows down uh, as much as, oh, I just have a lot more crap to think about. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, these shipyards look freaking cool. I love them. I want to actually see what the research lab looks like. Does that, I mean, I'm assuming it actually shows up. Yeah, that should be the research lab. No, we're building it. Never mind. Uh, you're building it there, too. Okay, so have we not completed a research lab anywhere? Don't think so. Uh, yeah, you can have an embassy. By all means, please. You are my friend. We shall be your friend. Um, I need to be friends with him. Was that last turn that happened? Probably. Uh, great artist, great musician, great music slot. Okay. Don't really think I need this. I mean, the plus four culture will be nice for us. Oh, uh, what city are you referencing? What... City are you referencing? Radio is a theater. What city are you referencing? You can't just claim every city is yours. Like that's not how this works, sir. Make deal. Um, I would like open borders. Can we research? No. So just pay me the one gold because I don't What the heck game? <laughs> uh I don't know. It must be the mod that's just like breaking certain things. Uh, and then give me one gold per turn. Please. Yeah, I don't know why the numbers just don't appear sometimes. Oh, she doesn't even want... She wants me to pay her nine total gold for open borders. Yeah, okay. At first I thought it was nine gold per turn, hence my... She wants me to pay her, and then I was like, oh, it's not that big. Okay, yeah, let's be friends. Will you pay me? You don't have any gold to pay me. Out, sure, whatever. I'm a generous freaking person at this point. So, we're friends with everyone, so we don't need to worry about anything. Um, we did discover three sources of aluminum, so this is big. Where are we at? Uh, underneath Mexico City. So, we currently have that one. We also have two, it says, so. The other one was underneath our industrial zone? That's our industrial zone, right? Yeah. So, I don't know if that one we grabbed. And then there was one up here. Okay, so yeah, we did grab the industrial zone one. So then we just need to build one over here. God, this city, man. 
<laughs> you're gonna have two stone, two niter, and freaking aluminum. Also, that aluminum's really ugly. I don't remember it being like brown like that, but whatever. Oh, uh, we got a civic boost for mass media. Why do we get a civic boost for mass media? Civic, Brian. Civic, Brian. Civic. Mass media. Natural history. Mass media. Boost research radio. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so what science do we want to grab next? Advanced flight, I think. I don't remember if we're working on that. Rocketry, we're about to get because we're about to get the uh, great person. So, I don't remember which ones we actually have a science agreement with right now. That actually sucks. There needs to be like a marker somewhere that says, hey, you're going to get this in a couple turns. Don't worry about it. So, we want. No, we already got the great engineer. Yeah, we already got the great engineer that gave us the boost for rocketry. So then we must be doing a research agreement with someone for it. Is there any way to see what your research agreements are? And I think the answer is no, but I could be completely wrong. Hi, so we have a research agreement. Can we not see what our research agreement is? is for does it tell me here allied friend reports north korea da, 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 da. i don't really want to read all these weapons of mass destruction built top secret i'm fairly certain we have a research agreement well, I mean, I know we have a research agreement towards rocketry, so that's where I'm kind of like, I don't want to spend time working on that. Let's go up to combined arms. I think I have a research agreement going on that one. I think I care less. Uh, we discovered aluminum. We know about all that. Um, you completed a quest, and we got one envoy for uh, Nan Madal. Uh, civic boost, mass media, cool. Uh, San Luis needs more housing. Okay, actually, speaking of that, why did you hate me? What city am I working on that you don't like? You're recruiting his city-states. Okay. What is your city-states? Was it the one, is it Nan Madal that I just happened to grab? No. I, I don't know what you're mad at me for, sir. I really can't do anything. You, like, if, if you don't tell me why you're mad, I can't help you, okay? So this is going to give me more food, which is probably good. We're actually missing... Oh, mine of these. Ugh. Also, it's going to give me housing, too, so that's going to help. So, yeah, we'll roll at the seaport, even though it's going to take forever. Uh, Acapulco. We probably want to start buying some tiles here. We could buy the camels. Um, Harbor? Harbor? Commercial district? Harbor would get the plus two from here. Harbor here would get me plus two... That's going to be plus four. But our commercial district won't be as powerful. Yeah, sure. Let's go there. So then, I think... How many builds do you have left? Do you have one build left? Let's send you over here. Let's actually buy the other camel. Camels are okay. They're not giving me a lot of production. So we want to throw a settler down here. Nuevo Lorar... Laredo, gosh, it's like you'd think I actually would know the town of Laredo since I lived in Texas, but whatever. Um, we do want to purchase a builder here, but we're going to have to wait a turn. It's actually grab a water mill. Our production is four. <laughs> uh, I just need to buy a builder. Honestly, I think we should just save our money and buy a builder. 540. We are making 400 gold, so we could actually afford... We could, we could buy that and still afford the builder next turn. So, let's go ahead and build the water mill. It doesn't really matter. It's going to take forever to do anything. We can build a lumber mill. Good job. Okay, so we want to move you over here next. Well, let's get the fish first while we're down there. And then we have another trader out. Ah, so we just finished our fifth trader out. You need amenities, but you really do need production. So, I'm tempted to send you over to China to get you more production. I wish you'd get some food, too. I could send you... Mexico City? 
Actually, can send you to Mexico City. We go to Oaxaca and get two food for production. But no gold. Gold is pretty freaking good. So six gold and a science. I think four production is a little hard to pass up. Especially when we're trying to build like a seaport and it's gonna, I mean, we knocked four turns off of it. Which seems pretty significant. So let's just keep advancing turns. So we only have a hundred and um, uh, 83 turns to finish the game. So I, th I think we have plenty of turns to actually beat the game. We really just need to start getting our space race stuff going and we'll be good. Cause really we're pretty much maxed out on tech almost. Let's see, he has 48, we have 50, so we have two more signs than him. I really wish I knew when we were doing rocketry and when it was going to end. I should have put some sort of note down for myself. There's got to be a way to see... got to be a way somewhere to see the research agreements. Is there not? Like, it's not currently... There's not a mark by it somewhere, right? No. Trade routes. If I hover over here, will it tell me I have research agreements? No. If I hover over here, will it tell me my research agreements? No. No. I don't see anything here. It wasn't in reports. Resources. City status. Wow, we actually have four displeased cities. Dang. So we need more amenities is, I guess, what we're learning. Um, Could grab some happy people, uh, some happy districts, but... Uh, so then, the like, the only other place would be here, and then, hey, we have a research agreement. Like, we have a research agreement with you. And it doesn't tell me what. We would have to potentially... No. Well, it just says... It doesn't say for what. Hmm. So, information is shared. Next axis gives us weapons of mass projects started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care about that. So, as far as I can tell, I can't find a way to see what research agreements we have. So, Mexico City is out of amenities. So is Monterey. Our cities are growing too big. We need a wonder that's going to give us amenities everywhere. So, your amenities are actually happy, or fine. We could build an entertainment complex over here. But, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather keep throwing down. Well, okay, here's the thing. We are at five of five. So that means they're content. But in 17 turns, they're gonna be displeased. You are Maxed out on housing and amenities. So, yeah, we probably should throw down a entertainment district. I hate it. Where, where'd it go? What? The entertainment district. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Blind Brian. I think we'll throw it down over here because it'll put it within range of this guy. And, well, Mazlazan's over there. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Is it the zoo? Yes, yeah, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So right there is really good. Um, it's also going to be next to our commercial hub, and it won't screw with any of my jungles. So sure, yeah, we'll throw it here. How many turns is that? Thirteen. I'm okay with that. Okay, city states, Geneva, influenced by, we have a three lead on Geneva, Stockholm, influenced by, we have a two lead on Stockholm, sounds good, we did end up losing Brussels again, but we could take Brussels back, but I don't really care about Brussels, however, getting plus two in every industrial zone when producing wonders buildings and districts seems nice, the other option is, pff, we could get plus four gold in every commercial hub district. Actually, that seems far more powerful for us. Yeah, getting four gold in every commercial hub is, should give me a rather large boost here. So 392, we'll have to keep an eye out on that next turn. Um, give me one more pasture, cool. 
All right, 392 up to 419. Uh, so we made 19 plus 8, so 27. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that was worth a little extra production when producing districts. But the funny thing is, like, I only have, like, three industrial zones. I don't have that many industrial zones. Let's see, Guadalajara has an industrial zone. Uh, Hermosilio has an industrial zone. Mexico City has an industrial zone. San Cristobal has an industrial zone. Oaxaca. Okay, so we have like five industrial zones. Still, I think I think where we rolled with is better. Getting 19 gold per turn. I don't know. Now I'm kind of doubting myself. All right, okay, so we almost have combined arms. It'd be really nice if we finish rocketry. I think I'm going to research rocketry if we don't finish it by the time combined arms finishes. Just because I need to start on my space stuff. Um, because... I mean, that's how we win the game. So we need to start popping out that crap. Like, that just needs to be our primary focus. Um, and I just don't know how long we have left on our science agreement. So you need more... Here's a question. Is there any thing that makes you happy? No. You probably need a happy district. We may also... Oh, speaking of that, I need to buy... I'm an idiot. Purchase builder. And while you're here, purchase another one. Purchase builder. Because we want you to get the aluminum. And then we probably want to send you over to get the stone. And then I want you to get this oil ASAP, please. Cool. Uh, give me the fish. It's fine. And then you can come. You know what? I think I'm going to go send and build a um, hacienda first. Hacienda gives bonus production here, and then just gives you food and uh, food and production, I think. Question, I, and I know the answer. Actually, why can't I build one here? Apparently, you can't build it on a tundra tile, which seems stupid. It's a hacienda. Why couldn't I like live in the tundra if I wanted? Yeah, you can't build it in tundra. Okay. Freaking Tundra, man. I suppose it would probably be too overpowered, but come on. The Kapongs, um, have we not seen how they work? <laughs> God, they're like the most overpowered district in the game. Not district, sorry. Most overpower improvement. What was it again? It was food and production for every adjacent Kapong, I think, if I remember. Kapong. Kapong. Plus one production, plus one housing. That's right, plus one food. For every adjacent. Yeah, no, I'm not giving you my aluminum. Sorry. Uh, for each adjacent fishing boat. Oh, okay, so it's being adjacent to fish. Um, still. Shouldn't those have two production then? Oh, because he doesn't have fishing boats built there. She doesn't have fishing boats. Still. That's nice. And they should actually buy out and build another one here. Wait, one, two, three. No, never mind. You can't build fishing boats there. Uh, one, two, three. Nope, can't build there. <laughs> she, man, this is not the best tile. I think she should have built it here. One, two, three. No, I don't know. She does have a slight little canal city going there, but eh, whatever. Doesn't help all that much. Hi, so you are a trade route in Oaxaca. Probably don't need extra production here, but, you know, maybe we send you to get you extra production. We could send you to Berlin, get seven gold and two production. That seems really good. Same thing here. This one's 37, this is 32, so this is a little shorter of a trader out. Everything else is the exact same, right? Yeah, so let's send you back then to China. That's fine. Two production versus four is okay. Uh, we still need a lot more amenities. We know this. We're running... We need amenities, so we need happy districts, basically. Um, completing trader out. Got a trading post. Cool. What else do we have to do? We have another trade route? We do have another trade route. The so Guadalajara. Probably just send you back to Rome. 10 gold. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send you back to Rome. That's fine. All right, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, come in, show your support. I will see you guys next episode. Bye.